Assalamu alaikum. Hello my dear young learners. How are you all? I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I welcome you all in our today's online class added by Samsung Lakhani School and College English version. I am your science teacher Muhammad Intej Ahmed. Well today we will try to finish the rest of the part of part 1 question answer. In our previous class we have tried to learn the word meaning the multiple choice question and fill in the blanks and in this class we will try to finish the identification the true and false and the short and the question answer from this part one so i hope you all are ready please take your copy and pen and try to note down what i am going to show you i will start with the identification please open your textbook in page number 8 where the question number B you will see some picture there are eight different picture of a variety of things while we need to identify them one by one you can see there are serial number one two three four five six seven and eight so we need to identify them and we must write their name on the blank spot in the first picture from the top left part you can see there is a creeping tree which is known as the grape vine so the answer is grape vine and the next question uh, there is another picture in picture number two there is a big tree we know the name of this big tree is banyan tree banyan tree so we will write the banyan here in uh, question number three there is another small plants actually it looks like a plants it's known as the mint normally we use them in our curry it's known as the mint in the picture number four it looks like a coconut I hope you have already seen coconut lively so you will be able to identify them it's a coconut tree in picture number five it says like it's like a flower and it looks like the suns that's why the name of this tree is sunflower tree so we will write sunflower on this spot and the next is a very beautiful flower and we know it's very famous the name of this flower is rose the name of this flower is rose let's see the uh, picture number seven there is another flower where we it lo looks like a familiar to us and we know the name of this uh, flower is hibiscus and in bangla we say java fool so what we will learn or write there we will write there hibiscus in picture number eight the, you can see that there is a picture a picture of p tree is a kind of plant which is known as the pea tree let's go to page number 19 where you will see the picture of some beautiful fruits and we need to identify them and we must write their name accordingly the first picture is looks like quite reddish and the name of this picture or the fruit is peach the name of the the uh, picture number one the name of this fruit is peach let's go to picture number two is quite familiar to us we normally or regularly we can see them around us and we normally take this fruit is famous fruit name as apple and we love that apple in picture number three there is another familiar fruit which is a local food normally we love it is known as the papaya the name of this picture is the papaya in picture number four which uh, is another picture of a fruit which is known as the grape which is known as the grape next in picture number five there is also quite familiar to us which is known as the sweet lime it's known as the sweet lime another uh, picture picture number six is the most famous and the most popular fruit among in this country and it is known as the mango tree sorry it's a mango so the name of this fruit is the mango now we will learn some true false let's see 
which one is true or which one is false. Question number one. The weeds are shrubs. Is it true? No, if it is not a true. So the answer is, it's a false. Normally weeds are the plants. The question number two is, cactus grow in wetland. Does the cactus grow in the wetland? No, normally it grows well in the dry land. That's why the answer is false. Question number three, we make medicines and perfumes from the shrubs. Well, from the text we have learned that we make medicines and perfumes from the herbs. That's why it's a false. And the question number four says, soap and medicine are made from neem. We know neem is a, a very useful uh, tree for us. That's why we can make some soap and medicine from them. Question number five, some fruits grow as nuts or cones. It's true, we have seen in the picture, uh, uh, in the textbook, that some fruits grow as a nuts or cones. Question number six, pomegranate has more seeds than the papaya. Yes, it's true, the whole part of the pomegranate that we try love to eat actually is a seed of the fruit. That's why it is more than the papaya, it's a true. Question number seven, all vegetables grow above the ground. No, it's a false because not all the vegetables grow above the uh, ground. Sometimes some vegetables grow beneath the ground. Question number eight, some plants are poisonous. Yes, it can be. That's why it's a true. The answer is true because the some plants can be poisonous. Question number nine, some fruits are covered by the pods. Yes. It's, uh, it's a true that we have seen some foods are covered by the pots. Question number 10, palm has many seeds. Sorry, palm doesn't have many seeds, it has only one seed. That's why the statement is false. So this is how you have to read the sentence carefully and you need to identify if it is true, write true. If it is false, write the false. Next, we will go to the question and answer from this part the first question says what are made from the jute fiber and we know that we make sacks the mats the bags and the rope with the jute fiber in question number two what are some of the drinks made from the plants normally we get, answer is coffee lime tea and some other beverages that means we get coffee from the plants, we get lime from the plants and also we get the tea from the plants. They all are the beverage but we get them from the plants. Question number three says what is a shrub? Give two examples. The answer says shrub is a woody plant smaller than a tree that is hibiscus and rose. That means it is a kind of tree which is very small whose stem is much weaker than the big tree that's why it is known as the shrub the question number four says what kind of plant grows up walls and other trees give two examples the answer says the climbers and creepers grow up on walls and other trees that is grapevine and peas as you can see the with the help of an example we can Find out the grapevine, the peas and other creepers and climber trees around us. They can climb through the wall or through the trees. Question number five says, are all wood the same color? No, all wood are not the same color. They have the different kind of color in different kind of woods. Question number six says, write the name of four shrubs. The answer is rose hibiscus, marigold, and jasmine. So these are the four names of the shrubs. Next, we have the question number seven. In question number seven, we have to write the name of four herbs. And they are number one, mint, number two, parsley, number three, sunflower, and number four, chili plant 
in question number eight we what do you get from the plants normally what do you get from the plants and it is explained here we get fruits leaves stains roots and grains and seeds from the plant yes it's very useful we get the fruit normally we get the leaves uh, we get the stains and roots and grains and seeds from the plant question number nine write the name of the various parts of a fruit the top part of a fruit is known as the skin and the middle part which is very useful for us and normally we take it is known as the fleshy inner part and number three is the seed question number 10 says what are made from coconut we know the answer is the oil soap etc are made from the coconut Question number 11. Write the name of four nuts and cones and they are walnut, coconut, cashew nut and ground nut. And question number 12 says, how do the plants grow? The plants grow from the seed. We know with the help of the seed, the plants grow and we can see as plants. So, without the seed, a plant cannot grow. Next, the question number 13. What is tree? Give two examples. The answer is, tree is a large plant with a strong woody stem. That is mango and banana. As you know that, tree is the biggest plant and who has the strong and woody stem? Suppose the mango, the banana tree or the uh, jackfruit tree. There are some woody trees in, in our country. They all are known as the tree. Question number 14. What is called the covering on the trunk of a tree? We know the answer is the bark is the covering on the trunk of a tree. So that was all our today's lecture. We have finished all the parts from the part 1. And in our today's class, what we have learned? We have learned the identification of different kind of trees and flowers. We have uh, identified the different kinds of fruits. We have learned all the true false that we, I, I have gave here. And also we have learned some short question answer or the question answer from the part 1. Well, my dear students, uh, let's take a note of your homework, please. And our homework is today's classwork is your homework. That means you need to memorize all the parts of our today's class. So that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the class. Thank you very much.